today we're going to look at ViewMaster. Now, as we've already discovered in my video about television series ViewMasters, there have been many ViewMaster sets about all kinds of subjects, from TV to movies to all kinds of Disney subjects. We've already seen ViewMasters about Disneyland. There was also Walt Disney World, animated features, and even live action features. But today we're going to look at the sets that were created around the famous characters from the animated shorts. Those beloved cartoon stars like Goofy, Pluto, Donald Duck, and of course, Mickey Mouse. This Mickey viewer was produced in 1989. And let's start with Mickey. Now, as soon as Viewmaster obtained the Disney license in the 1950s, they of course started creating these sets around the famous and beloved Disney characters. Of the three reels, each containing seven stereo 3D pictures, two of the reels are based on Mickey's famous cartoons. The first one is Brave Little Taylor, that 1938 feature-like cartoon, meaning that it was so elaborate and so rich and so highly budgeted <laughs> that it's really like a mini feature. Frank Thomas told me that the reason the cartoons from 1938 and 1939 are so good is that the top animators were taken off Pinocchio and put on shorts because there was that big gap in the production of Pinocchio when everything that had been done was thrown out and they started over. At any rate, the Brave Little Taylor reel is a wonderful representation of the cartoon, beautiful art and all beautifully drawn. The second reel, is based on the 1939 cartoon, The Pointer. Again, Frank Thomas worked on that cartoon and did the animation of Mickey. Famously, he asked Walt if he could film him acting out Mickey's voice, and Walt reluctantly agreed, and the result was some of the best Mickey animation ever. So this beautiful Viewmaster reel has a beautiful representation of that fun cartoon. Now in Reel 3, Mickey Mouse is in a toy store, and this little episode is not based on a cartoon, but on a Sunday page drawn by Manuel Gonzalez and written by the legendary Bill Walsh. And that Sunday page is from January 5th, 1958. In this story, Mickey gets tangled up with all kinds of toys, including the toy store's best plush animal, Plushie a toy elephant. All three of these Pluto reels are from Sunday comic pages. Actually, the Silly Symphony page, which at that time starred Pluto the pup. Reel one, the story of Pluto trying to get in the act in the circus parade, is from October 8th, 1939. Reel 2, which is about Pluto going duck hunting, hey, what about Donald, is from October 6, 1940, and features Horus Horse Collar, which is always really fun. He's not represented on merchandise very often. While the third reel, all about Pluto tangling with some bees, is from June 25, 1940. All three are written by Hubie Carp with art by Bob Grant. And this third one features Clarabelle Cow, again, not always seen on merchandise. It's always fun to see Clarabelle Cow, even though here she's called Clarabelle the Cow. Now you may have noticed that these two sets, Mickey Mouse and Pluto, are not done in the way we usually think of you masters, which is with the three-dimensional figures in three-dimensional sets, almost dioramas, you could say which were then photographed with the Viewmaster stereo camera. Those packets were done with specially created drawings, which were then layered and photographed to give the 3D effect. But Goofy here was done with actual sets and figures. That makes this set a real anomaly, but also what makes it different is that it's quite rare. Unlike the first two, Mickey Mouse and Pluto, that were introduced in the 1950s, they were then sold 
for decades, right into the 1980s, whereas this Goofy set was never reissued beyond its introduction. So it's quite rare, and I feel very lucky to have it, and it's in very, very good shape. But it's really fun because it's actually called Goofy Traveling Cameraman, and he writes a letter to Mickey saying that he's in California, and he's going to take pictures of some great sights and scenes in California. And so the Goofy figure is blended in with some real settings. Real one is San Francisco. Real two is Yosemite. And real three is Yellowstone. So there are some really fun and silly situations that Goofy gets into. As with all the Viewmaster packs, and I would say especially the ones that are done with these figures, they are so beautifully thought out and done with such great care and TLC that they're really fun. And is one reason that you can revisit them time and time again and look at them so many times. There's always something new to discover. The last picture Goofy takes is from Reel 3, his trip to Yellowstone. And he takes a picture of a moose, which is double exposed. And when he gets the developed photo, his face is superimposed on the body of the moose. So according to Goofy and his letter that he's writing to Mickey, it's Moofy. Now I saved this packet for last because it seems to be a great favorite of many people. And I have the feeling that as rare as the Goofy set is, this is the least rare of the, these Disney character sets because this is Donald Duck. And since it seems to be the one that everyone remembers, it must have sold very well. And like the Mickey Mouse set, this, after being issued in 1957, was made available for decades. Now, one thing that makes this set a lot of fun is that each reel is a different story that emphasizes a different co-star or set of co-stars of Donald. So reel number one is Sky Hammock. Donald gets the idea of putting balloons on his hammock so he doesn't have to hang it from a tree. Then his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, get involved. Reel two is Flying Saucer Pilots, and that involves Donald's perennial pests, Chip and Dale, and they pretend that they are aliens on a spacecraft on a UFO. And I think people seem to remember that story most of all, especially since it's represented here on the cover. And then the third reel is called Donald's Gold Mine, and this is really fun because really up until DuckTales, Uncle Scrooge was not really well represented on merchandise outside, of course, of comic books. And this is really fun because Donald sets out to find his own gold mine, and in digging for it, he actually digs into one of Uncle Scrooge's vaults. So a really fun story and really fun to see Uncle Scrooge. So that brings us to the end of this brief visit with Mickey, Donald, Pluto, Goofy, and Plushy and Moofy. And I'd really like to thank my friend Rebecca for providing the scans of these Viewmaster slides so we can take a closer look at them. Rebecca can be found on Instagram, and her account is viewmaster.bex. So please give her a follow, and you'll really enjoy all the many Viewmaster reels of so many subjects that she is sharing. We're going to be looking at Viewmasters again, both Disney and non-Disney, because there's so many and they are such fun to look at. And I'm very happy that you enjoyed these Viewmaster videos as much as you have. So please come back. Remember, every Tuesday is a brand new video, plus there's going to be more bonus videos and more surprises, and you won't want to miss out. But please be with us next time when Archimedes the Owl presents a screening of The Sword and the Stone. Oh, wait a minute. Is it The Sword and the Stone? Or... Maybe it's the sword and the rose. Oh, pin feathers. Whatever he's showing, you won't want to miss it.